causes greater shear in the plastic, and this increases its viscous heating. This graph shows how these two heating inputs change when the screw RPM is increased. Each pound of plastic extruded requires a certain amount of energy to heat it to its extrusion temperature. This is a fixed amount of energy per pound of plastic, shown as the horizontal line. At a low screw RPM, most of this energy is supplied by conductive heat from the barrel heaters. As the screw RPM increases, a greater portion of the energy is supplied as viscous heating from the rotating screws and less from the barrel heaters. When the screw RPM is further increased, at some point all the energy required to melt the plastic is supplied by the screws. This condition is called adiabatic extrusion. At this point, the barrel heaters no longer contribute to the heating of the plastic. Above this adiabatic point, we are in an operating condition where we must cool the plastic material or else the plastic will overheat. Now we'll review the effects of screw speed on mixing. The effects of a screw speed change on mixing are complex. When the screw RPM increases, the shear rate on the plastic increases. An increase in shear rate will increase the rate of both distributive and dispersive mixing. However, an increase in screw RPM will also reduce the residence time of the plastic melt in the extruder. 